Hey, what's up YouTube? I'm back with another radio video and today I am going to show you uh, my newest uh, antenna project and this basically is an antenna kit that I bought off of eBay for the price of $49 and free shipping from the maker of the uh, mini whip. His name is Anton and it came all the way from Russia. And I was looking at this kit for a bit, and of course with the mini whip, I uh, I doesn't don't have it on the roof any longer. However, I will be using it when I travel, because on my last um my last trip to Niagara Falls, um, I didn't have an AM. Basically, I, I tried a piece of wire, a long piece of wire out the balcony, the third floor balcony, and AM reception wasn't that great. I mean, I picked up a few stations, but not, not to you know to where where I would like it. So I had to build a temporary uh, wire loop, like a kind of a, like a delta loop type thing with the uh, one to one balance, and that improved the reception a little bit. But it's nothing like uh, a loop antenna, for example. So, and of course, I cannot even travel with a big old loop antenna. So I'm I'm looking for um. You know, some I, I'm looking for something like the uh, maybe a portable loop I can put on the hotel balcony or something like that, or in the hotel room for the next trip. And I'm looking maybe something into like what the uh, that uh, they I know the maker of a loop, uh, the W6LVP loop. It is kind of a portable loop. It is you. It does use a coax cable. You can use a coax cable with that. So I was looking at something like that. I don't. Want, I really don't want to buy one. So maybe I'll make something like that later on. And if I and if I don't have anything by then, I'll just try the mini whip uh, off the hotel balcony or something like that. I'll see how that goes for my next trip. Anyway, the same maker has made this uh, flag pennant HF loop, and it's already hooked up. It's going down to the basement. And I'm going up here so I can show you the components. And that is the pre-amplifier. And it's the top of the loop. We have one. Let me climb up here. I'm trying to keep my balance here. Okay, so the top of the loop is connected to this screw. The bottom of the loop is connected to this one. And these are both connected to the other end. Of course, it's going to be in the form of a triangle. This is going to be going up. And on the other side of this loop will be a 1,000 ohm resistor. And that's where it's going to be uh, connected to. So let's take a walk through over there. And of course, this is a temporary setup. I will be testing this out. And this sun is... Let me just go and point it down. But this is the bottom part of the little loop. I'm sorry, this is the sun is right. And then that is the top of the loop. As you see, it's going up. The wire is going up there. And then I'm trying to get over here on this angle so the sun doesn't kind of... And all the way up there. It's the top of the... Uh, let me zoom in there. And there's a little uh, ceramic dog bone. And just the wire passes through there. I get my finger in the passes through there and it starts going downward to the other end of the triangle and the top of that loop is about 16 feet off the ground and that starts going down over here and both ends of this wire are about 25 feet and the bottom part of the loop the straight part is about 50 feet okay it's not as big as I would like, but <laughs> it's pretty, it's okay. I mean, you know, considering the space that I have, I'm limited to the space that I have in my yard. And of course, this is the 1000 ohm resistor. Top of the loop is connected here. Bottom loop, bottom of the loop is connected here. And again, it's going straight to the pole. Okay, and then of course, in the bottom of the loop, it's one big old triangle. And you got this here separating here. It kind of take away the tension a little bit there. And plus, I do not want the wires touching this 
old steel pole and it's gonna pass through here and of course i have a steel pole in the way here so i had to uh put this guy this insulator over here kind of keep it away from and it'll go back let me go around this torch and of course it's going back over here to the preamplifier okay so it's basically one big I want to call it delta loop because it's more of a oh well, it is kind of a it is a delta loop pretty much although they call he does call the they call it a pennant loop um also with this particular kit there is another word configuration you can do there's several configurations from what i've seen i looked it up because that's the bottom of the loop top of the loop you can see the wire here you see oh, excuse me black wire and over there you see the mfj loop hey okay so like that triangle comes down so i was using it last night for medium wave and some h and some short wave and it was pretty good i was, uh, I was impressed by it although conditions weren't the best because i was getting noise and this summer i have been getting a lot of noise especially in the um well yeah pretty much uh, yeah the lower um the lowest the lower part of the uh broadcast band the medium wave and yeah basically hf from i'm gonna say around 10 megahertz all the way down to you know the uh, the hand bands like the uh you know three megahertz and so on i was just getting i'm getting just getting a lot of noise i don't know what it is i don't know what's the source of it I, and it does go away sometimes for a few days and then it comes right back so i have to figure out where's that noise coming from and i checked all over my house and it's not from the house it's definitely from outside it's definitely beyond my uh control so there you go and i'll show the uh the power but of course this is amplified this is an amp uh, pre amplifier so there's 12 volt uh going into the coax to power this up so it's basically like an active loop okay and i'll show you that when we go inside <laughs> All right. Okay. So there you go. You're listening to um, Radio Exterior, Ex Radio Exterior de España, and that is coming through the uh, flag pennant loop HF antenna kit and let me show you the um the there we go we got it on the tripod here this is the power feed unit as you can see you got the 12 volts coming in and that is not supplied by the kit by the way i i have a wall wart that i use that was the same wall wart i used for the mini whip so and this is a bnc connector oops sorry about that bnc connector this is the uh the one that's coming from outside and this is uh, going into the radio. Okay. Let me zoom in there a little bit. And then this is for, I believe it's for in, for transmitter. It says PTTN. I believe that is the uh, for the transmitter. I guess it has some kind of cutoff. Of course, I would not be transmitting with this loop, but you can find uh, more, find out about that from the maker. Um, I'm going to show you the. Uh, his eBay page. Let me just put the uh, tripod back over here. And let me elevate this up over here a little bit. Of course, over there you can see the hula loop that I haven't been using lately. I'll move this over here. And this is the. Uh... Okay, okay, with the Michael Jackson tribute here. Let me lower that down. <laughs> Sorry about that. Yeah, so this is the um, the kit. Okay, you got your preamplifier there, and I'm trying to hold this uh, tripod steady here. I'm holding it up high. Yeah, so that's the kit there. You have your uh, 
resistor, your power in a power feed unit, and your of course, like I said, it does not come with the uh, plug. You can use a battery pack instead, or and he's he was he is selling it for fifty two dollars, but of course it was a make offer. I originally offered him forty five dollars, and he counted with forty nine dollars, so I just took the forty nine dollars. That's how it came out to forty nine dollars for me. Okay, so that is the kit, and it's the same guy from the, the selling the mini whip. Anton. Okay, so there you go, and it's working pretty well. I had it on last night with my newer radio, which I will be talking about that in the next video or so. Okay, so that's pegged. And of course, uh, if you run it with the out without the power, it's not going to be as effective because it does. Uh, this is kind of an active loop, so you do need the power unit. Similar to the mini whip. Okay, so um, so I will be uh, trying it out with my current. Let me turn off this fan. It's uh, sorry. I know you probably hear a little something, but it's just it's very humid today, and I'm in the basement, and I have. A window fan up there and I have two fans blowing right here because my AC is on the second floor that is my uh, my second floor shack but unfortunately the second floor for HF and uh, AM and so on for anything HF it's not doing a good job right now so um, I, I do all my HF listening down there and on the second floor I, I'm gonna set I'm setting up the stations up there to do uh, VHF, UHF, like for my scanners and, you know, that's that type of stuff. And I will be talking about it like that in the next uh, couple few videos. I was doing, I have, I was setting up FM DX station. Of course, the season is, uh, the sporadic E season is pretty much over. So I was a little bit late in the ball game when it came to that. And I will talk about that in a future video. My, my setup that I'm setting up for the next time that does uh, when it does occur and I'll be ready for the next time so in the meanwhile um, hope you enjoyed the video um, if you have any questions um, leave the comment below about I will put the link on the uh, the kit eBay kit in my description also um, thank you for all the likes thank you for subscribing to my channel if you haven't subscribed to my channel please do and I said I will be doing testing on this antenna. And then eventually I will set up a permanent setup for this loop antenna. This, uh, you know, big, because uh, I really want to have this ready by the fall for the uh, AM for on the winter. So I need to, you know, right now I'm just going to test it at that spot that you saw outside. And eventually I will do a more permanent location. Of course, I am happy with the mini whip. I mean, I'm happy with the, uh, well, I'm happy with the mini whip, too. <laughs> and some insisters. Well, I'm, I mean, I'm, I'm happy with the MFJ loop. It's just another antenna that I like to try out. Uh, so, you know, it makes the, it makes the uh, hobby interesting. Try more than one antenna out. Um, it's, you know, it's not, all, it's not always about just having one antenna. It's actually, I mean, just trying different things and learning about different things. I mean, you know, I didn't buy this antenna. Out of, I didn't buy this kit out of necessity. I just bought out of curiosity. And that's how you learn. Okay? So I'll see you in the next video. Take care. Bye-bye.